Once the Report Pro home window opens, you'll see the following icons. The Quick Report section. Clicking on Quick Invoice will open up the current invoice that you have displayed in your shop management system in the main Report Pro window and print that invoice. Clicking on Quick Vehicle will first open the Tech Worksheet in the main window and print it. And next, if selected, you will see a paper inspection appear in the same window to print also. Actions. Print. Clicking this icon will print whatever document is displayed in the main report window. Export. Clicking this icon will open a window that allows you to choose from multiple formats to export the current document displayed in the main window. Choose the file type that you wish from the drop down menu and export that file to where you wish. Email. Clicking on an email will open your pre configured email program on your PC to send a document via email. Page. Zoom in, zoom out. Clicking on these magnifying glasses will allow you to zoom in and zoom out on any document that's displayed in the main window. Previous and next arrows. These allow for the movement through multi-page documents displayed in the main window. Reload. If you make any changes on the document that's displayed in the main report window, in the shop management system or through customization, you need to click on the reload button so the report pro sees these changes and renders them in the display document. Basically giving the view the latest version of the document being an RO, an invoice, whatever it is with any changes that you've made. Change work order. Clicking on this icon gives you two choices. The first click will display your current work in progress in the new window. Double click on the estimate, RO or invoice that you wish to work with, and will open in the main window in Report Pro. You can also click on the change work order to search for a document. Click on the icon, click on the work order search tab in the open window. Type in the customer name or invoice number and press return or enter on your keyboard to search for what you seek. Double click on the document that you wish to open. Header. Click on the invoice icon to open the customized invoice window. When the window is open, you are shown the header part of the invoice, which is the very top of each page. You can put your shop logo on your invoices by selecting the checkbox in front of Use Logo on Invoice. Below, you will need to put in the logo path in the following box. This is basically the computer's path where your logo is stored on your computer. When we install our software onto your computer, this will be done if you have a logo that we can use. Usually the path will be something like C drive slash BOT slash samples slash your logo, and your logo meaning your image. This takes the software to the bot bolt on technology folder in your C drive into the folder called samples. Samples is the best place to store your logo and other images. If you create a new logo, you should place it in this folder and redirect Report Pro to the new image. Your image needs to have the dimensions of 2 by 1 inches to fit the allotted space. Look for a video on placing the logo on top center of your invoice if you need more information. The rest of the header can be customized by selecting the checkboxes and choosing what you wish to appear, such as your shop name, address, slogan, and anything else that you choose. Deselect what you do not want to see. Each item in this list is self-descriptive. Click Save and Close to save your changes and double click on your chosen invoice type to reload and see your changes in the main window. Customize Invoice Body. The body is the central part of your invoice where the jobs, parts, labor, and such are laid out in a manner that is easier to read. To add to this, we also can add color to the invoice and a watermark. Invoice primary and secondary accent colors. Click on the given buttons to add color to your invoice. Yes, you will need a color printer, but realize what we are doing here. We are making the invoice part of your branding. We're putting a document in your customer's hands that identifies your shops. Click to select color is as easy as it says. If you choose that you do not want any color, click in the white box to select basically no color. Remember that you do not want to go crazy on the colors, so choose wisely. And again, choose the items that you wish to have shown in your invoice. Do you select what boxes that you do not want to appear? 
watermark. It allows you to print a grayscale set of initials in the background of each page. I call my imaginary shop JB Automotive, so I enter the letters JB in the box and select Show Watermark and the initials will appear. You will note that an image can also be used and this will be discussed in another video. As always, click Save and Close to keep all your changes. To see your changes, go back to the invoice that is open, click on either the invoice type in the left column or the Reload button at the top. Customize Invoice Footer. The footer is the bottom of the invoice page. This is where we set it up. Website. Your shop has a website, right? Well, guide your customers there with this link. When the invoice is sent electronically, and when a customer clicks on this link, it will take them right to your website. Input the URL address for your shop's website here. Click on the Show Website link to have it appear in your invoice. Choose a color for the link appear, and note, it doesn't have to be the blue like many links tend to be. Generate QR code for website link. So you put your website on the invoice so your customers can click on the electronic web link to go to your page. Why not give them another way to access your website on paper invoices? Select this box and a QR code will be printed on the invoice. Using their smartphone with a proper app installed, the customer will be taken directly to your shop's website. The rest of the footer selections are self-explanatory. Select what you want to appear in your invoice. Do you select what you do not want to appear? Save and close all changes before leaving the window. And note, you do not have to save after each section that you adjust. You can wait till you finish the whole process and then save everything at once by clicking on Save and Close. Invoice Sections. Sections. Here you get to set up what else you wish to add to the invoice. Show recommendations. You invest time into looking over the vehicle and come up with recommendations. So be sure to print these on your invoice as a reminder to the customer. Section Title Name the section where your recommendations appear and highlight them with a color that will bring the customer's eyes to them. If you wish to use no color, choose the white box in the color selector window. Include Past Due Recommendations Keeping all the recommendations you have made in front of the customer will help them plan on how to dress them in the future. Generate QR Code Select this and another QR code appears on the invoice that allows the customer to scan with their smartphone and put reminders of his recommendations right in their own digital calendars. Color. To make your recommendations even easier for your customer to see, why not add color to the background? Click on the color drop down menu to select the color and when rendered or printed, this color will provide a background for your recommendations, hopefully getting the customer to consider getting the work done. Show unsold revisions. Call it declined work or whatever you wish. This is more information for your customer to work with to come up with an educated decision about future service and work. Show prices. Selecting this will add the prices to the unsold revisions. Show sold revisions. This will list the revisions that the customer has authorized in the invoice. Show all details for sold revisions. Check this box for a full description of sold revisions to be printed on the invoice. Show Discount Build value in the savings that you're giving your customers. In the section title, choose and type whatever you wish to call it. Show State Specific Sections Certain states have very specific requirements that must be listed on the invoice. Selecting this checkbox will show them on the final invoice. Social Media You must keep up with the times. Social media is now an acceptable way of advertising. Next to the appropriate icon, put the address for your links to Facebook, YouTube, and so on. And on a digital inversion of this invoice, these will become clickable, making it easier for your customer to give you a thumbs up rating on Facebook. Uncheck any form of social media that you do not have, and always double check to make sure that you put the proper address in for each site. Credit cards. Four major credit cards are available to be added to your invoice. Just select the boxes for the cards that you use. Do you select the ones that you do not accept? Show Custom 1 and Custom 2. These allow you to add your own form's accepted payment types. Install the appropriate icon in the Samples folder in the Bot folder on your C drive. Select the box 
provide the path to the icon in the open field, and the path should look something like this, c slash bot slash samples slash cache. Save your changes when finished. Affiliated logos. Here you can add the logos of any companies or certifications that your shop uses. Again, further building your brand. And as you select each box, you will need to provide a path to each symbol that should be in the bot samples folder in your C drive. That path should direct your computer to the bot folder where you have the images stored. And it should look something like what is displayed here. Report Pro, Customize, Invoice, Coupons. You have the ability to put coupons in your invoices. There are two different types of coupons to use. There are the default coupons or the advanced coupons. The advanced coupons can be determined by the recommendations that you've made on today's visit. Select the Show Coupons checkbox to show your default coupons displayed below. Deselect the box if you do not want these coupons to show in your invoice. Note, this selection affects both the default coupons and the advanced coupons. If you wish to have your default coupons but no advanced coupons, you must remove all the advanced coupons from the system. Here, you can edit your coupons. Your shop's name, which you'll see, will automatically fill in from your shop management system where it says your shop name is displayed. Good for 90 days from the invoice date is editable by clicking and changing the text. Editing the coupons is as easy as double clicking on a line that you wish to change and type in your new ideas. Be careful not to overload each line with too much text as it will be hard to read. For example, double click on the trans flush coupon price and type in the price you wish. Remember that this price could be your everyday low low price. Changing any other text on any of the coupons is just as easy. Always save all your changes by clicking on the Save and Close button. Then reload the invoice to see the changes in the coupons at the bottom of the invoice. Advanced Coupons Advanced coupons can be linked to the recommendations that you make during each visit. If you recommended an alignment for the next visit, the software can automatically put a coupon for that service on the bottom of today's invoice perhaps prompting that customer to return for that alignment. Go to the Advanced Coupon window at the bottom of the page. In this window, you will see any advanced coupons that you may already have. To edit a current advanced coupon, double-click on that coupon. This opens the Advanced Coupon Editing window. Under Category, you will see a drop-down window to assign your advanced coupon to. Click on the item that you wish to use from the drop-down window and select it. To change the text in the coupon, select the text to be changed and type over it. Click OK to save the changes or cancel, not to save any of the new changes. To add a new advanced coupon, click on the Add button and a blank advanced coupon window opens. Choose the correct category for the coupon from your drop down menu. Select and type the description and name for that coupon. To finish, Save your new coupon, click OK. For example, let us create an alignment coupon. First choose your category for alignments. Then type in your coupon name. Here I'll type alignment. Next, give it a description such as check alignment and adjust to spec. Be sure to balance your name and description text on the coupon. Less is more. Click OK to save your new coupon. To remove a coupon, select the coupon from the Advanced Coupon menu and click the Remove button. Choose Yes from the window that opens to complete that task. If you do not wish to have any coupons, remember to deselect the Show Coupons checkbox up top. And as usual, always click Save and Close to save all your changes. Customize Tech Worksheets. The worksheets that you print for your text to work from can be customized to your liking. Note, if you're using Mobile Manager Pro with tablets, these directions will not apply since you'll have your text working from the tablets. How to do it? Go to Customize, Tech Worksheet to open the customization window. The first thing that you're presented with is adding color to the worksheet. You'll see all the different parts of the printout that are available for adding color to. Note, 
of course you need to use a color printer for these tech worksheets. The left column of buttons specially controls the color to text on the worksheet. Click on the right side of each button to open a menu where you can click and choose the color you wish and have the text printed in. Be aware that if you do not want specific text to print on a tech worksheet, choose white for the text color. Doing this will result in nothing being printed in those notes if the back color is also white, a good way of hiding information if needed. Choosing a back color will print a color behind all the text on the worksheet, and this can help accentuate certain text on the worksheet. For example, recommendations can be highlighted for the technician to see. Do the text in black and put a red color for the back color and have it stand out. Let's take a look at how that will look. Save and close to keep our settings. Reload the tech worksheet into the viewer. Customer information. Putting a check mark into these boxes will do the following on the worksheet. Using abbreviated customer data section after the first page and use reduce report header section both basically reduce the amount of paper used when printing out the worksheets. Hide the customer phone numbers can be chosen to keep the customer phone information off the tech worksheet. Technicians. Here, select the boxes in front of each line to display the following. The tech for each work line. The tech pay hours instead of scheduled hours. Tech hours on the tech lines. Display text below the vehicle history lines. Other. Choosing these items will affect how many sheets of paper used when printed. Display the work performed labor details. This will show the written labor information for each line in completion. Display cause correction lines. This gives your tech lines to write on on the worksheet. Display promise date and time. Pretty much that is what it does. When finished making any adjustments, be sure to click and save and close. Vehicle history. Making adjustments here will change the way that the vehicle history is shown when printed on tech worksheets and on the tablets. Maximum amount of history to display. Determine how many years you wish to have shown in your printouts and tablets. Clicking on the arrows will increase or decrease the amount you show when history is displayed. My recommendation, display three years. Note, if your shop management system history only goes back a year or so, that's all you're going to be able to display. Group the history by date. Choosing date will display your vehicle history in chronological order from today back. This is my preferred method. Category. Selecting this option provides you with a few more choices to refine your history of buy. Checking only show labor items will eliminate other items such as sublet and parts. Only show the most recent results in each category. This here will force the software to limit results to one item per category. Or selecting show service not performed or applicable shows any services that the customer may have declined in the past. And when finished modifying your tech worksheet, click Save and Close to keep all your changes. Customize multi-point inspections. When using Mobile Manager Pro and inspections, you have the ability to download, edit, and create your own auto insight digital inspections or paper inspections by clicking on the multi-point inspection icon in Report Pro. This opens the inspection window where you will see a list of inspections available to you in addition to many methods of editing, downloading, and creating your own inspections. The Inspections tab will allow you to add, edit, delete, and duplicate inspections. Points has the point editor to create, modify, or delete individual inspection points. Don't be fooled by the name of the inspection store, thinking that you must pay for inspections because it's actually free. It's really a library where you can see inspections built by other shops that have uploaded them to share with others. You can even publish your own inspection masterpiece to share if you wish to. Note that the inspection points for each inspection are also available for you to use in your own inspections that you can build. Inspection data. These icons in the tab let you design your inspections to keep them private while still being able to share the inspections with your own or other shops. Use to copy the data onto the USB drive or email and install another computer. Import to bring in an inspection 
and export to share and inspection. Settings. These icons are where we make the basic settings for the different aspects of the inspections. You can set the inspection to options, how to share the inspections, themes, and specific rules for the inspections. Create an inspection. Click on the Add button to start to build your inspection from scratch. This opens a new window to create an inspection in. New inspection appears in the inspection window highlighted. Type in the name of the inspection here. So let's start with tire, wheel, inspection by typing in it as a name. Add group. Once you name your inspection, you need to add a group. Think of groups as a way to put similar items for inspection together. So let's start looking at the tires first and name this group tires. Click the add group icon opening a new window to input the name of the group. Click in the field and type the group name with it and it will be tires in this example. Click OK and you'll see tires appear in green at the left top of the window. Now we need to add points to the inspection. Think of points as individual items to be checked during this inspection. For example, each tire is going to be its own inspection point determined by front, rear, left, and right. Go to the point menu to the right, click and drag and drop the points that you wish from the right points pane to the left inspection pane. As you drop the points to the left window, you'll see a black line appear. When you see this appear, you can drop the item and it will stay in the inspection window. Repeat this for each tire. If you drag the wrong point over, just click and drag the point back to the right side window. To make the inspection as efficient as possible, you can place the points in order that you wish to have them inspected. Click and hold the point that you wish, move and drag it to where you want it to be when the black line appears and drop it there. Let us repeat the process for the wheel part of the inspection by creating the wheel group after clicking on the add button. Drag the wheel points over to and under the wheel group, adding them to the inspection. Reorder the points as preferred. To save our inspection, click on the save and close icon on the upper left side of the window and you will see the window close and the inspection name will appear in your inspections window. Creating and editing points. Points are individual inspections found under each group. You can add or edit points using the points editor. Note that when you download inspections, each inspection's points will now appear in the inspections window. So let's create some points for a battery check. Click and open the points editor icon to start. The inspections point editor window opens. To add a new point, click on the add icon. You'll see new point appear in the left points window screen. On the right screen, you now need to fill in the name of your new point in the point title field. Let us use battery check in this example. Next, you need to choose a category for your new point to be linked to from the drop down menu. I have a category called battery service to use for this point. Next, in a month interval, I will choose how many months between battery checks I want to have to pass. In this example, I'm going to use 12 months. On the odometer interval, this is where I'll assign the miles between battery inspections. In this case, I'll use 12,000 miles, about a year. Note that if this is an item that only needs to be looked at once a year, regardless of mileage, I'll enter a zero in this field. For example, in Pennsylvania, we have a yearly inspection, and it's regardless of mileage driven, so zero will go into this field. Next. Click on the Can Job tab to connect the job to this inspection line. First, click on the Add button to open the drop down menu of your Can Jobs. In my case, I'm going to type in the letter B to scroll to the battery section of my Can Jobs. By selecting the checkbox in front of each Can Job, I can add them to an inspection point. You can choose multiple Can Jobs now, too. Click OK to add the jobs. Clicking on the CAN recommendations, we can add the notes that offer all the different possible recommendations that we can have with these inspections. You need to name each CAN recommendation. For example, let us start with good as the title of this CAN recommendation. Then add something like battery appears to be in good shape. 
click OK to add to the inspection line. In addition to the title and description, you're giving a choice of adding defaults to the recommendations. Selecting yellow or red in the default field, by this can recommendation automatically add it when a tech taps the related color during the digital inspection. If an item is being checked that is pass or fail item, just use the red default field. Yellow will not apply to pass and fail items. If an item wears and is getting close to needing replacement and should be checked again soon, use the yellow default field in this case. Brakes at 430 seconds or 4 millimeters should be recommended for replacement or re-examining soon. Default on yellow can be used on the battery that is almost at the end of its expected life or test week. Put in a note that automatically will be entered when a tech taps that yellow inspection field. To make an example, in a title, type battery failed. In the description field, write battery fails, inspection, and testing. Requires replacement. Select the default on red and click OK. So now when the tech gets this inspection field and selects the red color tag on the inspection, the previous information that you entered will automatically be added to the inspection line. A canned recommendation for a battery that is low in charge or needs some light service for corrosion, you can use a default of yellow on this item to be selected by the tech and have the information automatically added. Canned notes allow you to add notes of what the tech finds with each inspection line. When checking the battery, it may be noted that the battery hold down is missing. So, this is a note that should be put in as a CAN note. To add notes, click Add to open the CAN note window. Give it a title and then add a description. So let us do it. Click Add to open the CAN note window. Name the note Battery Loose. Then type in the description field battery hold down is missing. Click OK when finished building the point. Click OK when finished and adding it to the inspection. Click on the X in the upper right hand side of the inspection points editor window to close it. Delete. Select the point that you wish to delete and click on the delete icon to get to delete it. Click yes in the subsequent window that opens to complete that operation. Note, you must remove a point from any inspections before you can delete it. If the point is part of any inspection, you will get a window telling you that the point is part of an inspection and cannot be deleted until it is removed from that inspection. And if this point is part of multiple inspections, you will have to remove it from all the inspections to delete it. Duplicate. In the inspection points editor window, you can use this to duplicate when making points that might be similar for a couple of items. Say you want to have a point for looking at each tire. Create one original point, duplicate it four times, then change the name to left front, left rear, right rear, and right front, and so on. Duplicating makes it much easier to build these points. Customize inspections settings. Inspection options automatically add work order labor to the new inspection. This setting gives you the choice to add any work order lines that are already on the document into the inspection. This is so that the tech can complete these items right in the inspection itself. Select the option that you prefer. Never. This option will not prompt you or add any labor lines to the new inspection. Always. This option will automatically include the work order lines in the new inspection. Ask me or prompt you with a question as to whether you would like to add the labor lines to the inspection with a yes or no window on the tablet. Group title for labor items. If you choose to add labor items to the inspection, they will under, appear under this group title, which you can select and change yourself. Automatically add short track top issues to new inspection. With proper access to short track, the top issues for the type of vehicle that you have written up can be added as inspection lines also. Never. This option will not prompt you to add any short track lines to that new inspection. Always. This option will automatically include the short track lines in a new inspection. Ask me. 
or prompt you with a question as to whether you would like to add short track to the inspection with a yes or no window on the tablet. Group title for short track symptoms. In this box, you can change the title for the group where the short track symptoms will appear. Select and type in if you wish. Display count. This drop down menu gives you the choice of how many concerns you wish to have on the inspection. Customize Inspection Settings Rules Scorecard To get the most out of digital inspections, Baldon Technology offers a scorecard to help the technicians learn how to best use the inspections. The general screen, selecting the following items will turn the scorecard system on and prevent technicians from completing the inspection unless all the rules are met. Checking the box before, Enable Rules and Show Scorecard on Inspections Complete turns on the scorecard function. Please be aware that it's best to take pictures of the good, the bad, and the ugly. Give the customer a good balance report on their vehicle, not just all the negative stuff. Checking the do not allow completion unless inspection pass rule check will not allow a technician to complete any digital inspection that does not fulfill the minimum requirements set in the following sections of the screen. The next three sections are used to control tech input on the red, yellow and green points of the inspections. Being that all the settings are the same, we're just going to discuss one. The first setting, required technician recommendation, put your color here, forces the tech to put the recommendations before he moves onward in the inspection sheet. Required technician note on, and color here, points does the same. The drop down menu gives you a choice of how many pictures are required for each red, yellow or green selection. Clicking the up and down arrows will increase or decrease the number listed. The defaults that we give for each color selection are what we consider the bare minimum. More pictures are always better. Our default for red pictures is 1.5 average. Yellow is 0.5 and green 0.1 point pictures average. Now note, you can't take less than one picture, but the idea here is the average across the whole document. Miscellaneous rules. Checking the required vehicle picture checkbox forces a picture of the vehicle to be added to every inspection sheet. When done making your changes, be sure to click save to keep them or they will be lost when you close the window. Customize inspection settings theme display. In the settings screen, you will choose the theme that your digital inspections are going to use when sent to a customer. The icon that is checkmarked is the one that is currently chosen and used theme. To see each theme close up, right click on the theme for enlarge view. To choose that theme, left click on it and you'll see the check mark appear in the corner showing that the template is now the one that you will be using. Custom Commission. Use this if you pay individuals a percentage bonus on sales above a specific threshold. Set the threshold for where the commission begins and assign the bonus percentage to the individual that will be paid. For example, Let's set a threshold of $500 and give the individual 5% of the sales above that amount. By double clicking on each person's name and inputting that percentage, you've done just that. Click save to keep all your settings. Inspection Manager. Inspection Manager is the tool used to edit and send complete digital inspections to your customers. Single click on the icon to open the Inspection Manager window. When first open, the Inspection Manager window will default to displaying all the inspections that are current. The items displayed in the upper part of the window are Display. This drop down menu offers a number of ways to display your inspections. All displays all the current inspections in the main window. Waiting shows the inspections that are still waiting to be started. In progress lists all the inspections that are now being performed. Complete shows the inspections that are finished today. Choose whatever way you wish to see the inspections listed in the main window. Start date, end date. Select just today or any date range that you choose to have displayed in the inspection manager window. Click on the drop down menu to display a calendar. Click on the preferred dates in both the date windows. And the window will automatically display the inspections that fall in between those dates in the main window. Report card. Selecting this button will open your web browser and display a report card of how well the Auto Insight inspections are being used and completed. 
This is a great method to track and guide the proper use of the inspections. See the Auto Insight Report Card video for more information. Refresh. Clicking on this button will update the display of the inspections in the main manager window at our latest and most recent status. Report Pro Tools Workflow Manager. Workflow Manager provides you with a graphical overview of your shop's workflow. Types to display. You can select whether you wish to see all your estimates, repair orders, and invoices just by selecting the appropriate button. Click to turn on, click to turn off as desired. Columns to display. Checking this selection box in front of the list of text will display the jobs that the tech currently has assigned to them. Deselecting will not show that technician. The next section allows you to choose how you display the information in a workflow manager by technician or the status that it is in. The statuses are set up in your shop management system. Choose which view you like by clicking on it. Search. Find work orders. Click for a window that opens, giving you the choice to search for work orders by order number, customer, or vehicle. The search will result in the foundings being highlighted and the other jobs being dimmed for a short period of time. Filter by. You can make Workflow Manager easier to use by having each service writer display only the work that they are directly responsible for. Click on the drop down menu and select that particular service advisor. To see what jobs a technician has to work on, click the drop down menu under the technician and choose who you wish to display. In either selection, choosing the all displays all the service advisors and all the text below. Each box is displayed has a color assigned to it based on what it is. Estimates are blue, repair orders are red, and invoices are green. The vehicle box displays the document number, customer name, vehicle information, and the number of hours assigned to each vehicle. You will also find the vehicle promise time displayed at the bottom of each box. Click on each box once to open a window that allows you to quick print an invoice, open a text window to send a text to that customer. Also at the bottom of the window is that progress bar that depicts how many jobs are completed on that vehicle. The drop down menu in the upper right displays the tech currently assigned to that vehicle. Clicking and selecting a tech from the drop down menu will assign a vehicle to the other tech. If Mobile Manager Pro is in use, a photograph of the vehicle will appear in the camera box. Clicking off the square will close the window. Note. Vehicles can also be assigned to other technicians simply by clicking, dragging, and dropping the square to the other tech. Drag until the no symbol disappears and drop the square to complete the transfer. Registered Tires It is required that all tires sold in the United States need to be registered with the manufacturer in case of a recall or other issues. The Registered Tires tool makes this as easy as a few clicks. With the estimate or work order, open your management system, go to the Report Pro Tools and click on Register Tires. From the main window that opens, choose the brand of tire that you sold by clicking on it and on the left side of the window. On the right side of the window, a document will open with most of the informational fields already filled out with your shop's information and the customer's information. Fill in the dot codes for the tires. If all the tires have the same dot code, it only needs to be put in one time. If there is more than one dot code, put each code in. Click the appropriate button to submit the information. Category Tools To be able to run accurate reports on how your operations are going, you need to use your categories right. For example, tracking oil changes requires having a category just for them, such as an LOF category or oil change category. Category Tools helps you fix your categories if you haven't been using them properly. Search for and select the category that you may have assigned putting all your maintenance into and unassign them from that category. Note, all the history assigned to these items will be disconnected from them. After unassigning the categories, you now need to go in and manually assign the items with your new categories by searching for the items that you wish to move. Selecting them, right clicking on them, navigate the drop out menu to the category that you now wish to assign them to by clicking on that category and continue until you're done. For more information on categories in this tool, please see the appropriate video. Odometer Tool 
This tool takes the hassle out of fixing odometer readings that are inaccurate. For example, the tenths of a mile are also inputted, resulting in a much larger mileage. With the vehicle estimate repair order open in the background, go to Report Pro, Tools, Fix Odometer, and click to open. You will see a list of invoices displayed. Click on the invoice to be fixed, input the proper mileage for in and out if needed, and click update to change what is wrong. Click exit to leave the window. Move all vehicle history. Perhaps one of your customers buys a new vehicle that's very similar to the old one. Nobody notices until one day it comes to light. The move all vehicle history tool can make moving the history a simple fix. Choose the vehicle with the wrong history attached, then choose the vehicle that you want to move it to. Select the items that are displayed that need to be moved and click Perform History Transfer and you're finished.